sample standard deviation so the sample standard deviation so we normally use the notation s so s stands for the sample standard deviation so you have a formula here summation x square divided by n minus summation x by n the whole square so summation x square is nothing but square of each number and then uh, you are summing it up right and summation x is addition of all these numbers and then there will be in the whole square so now i'm going to calculate sum x square so that is 12.0 square plus 10.5 square plus 9.5 square plus etc plus 7.2 square so so what is this value comes so now the summation x square gives you 774.53 and summation x equal to so now plugging in and n equal to 7 so plugging in these values into the formula you will get s is equals to square root of 774.53 divided by n7 minus x summation 71.5 divided by 7 the whole square so this will give you 774.53 divided by 7 which is equals to 110.65 you can take two to two, two, two decimal places minus 71.5 Divided by seven, ten point five. So times times ten point two one gives you approximately hundred and four point two nine. The still the square root is there. So this will give you hundred and ten point. Six five minus one hundred and four point two nine is six point square root of six point three six, so which is equals to five two years. So this is the sa sample standard deviation. So the uh, you have seven patients here, and their incubation period was given. and we calculated the sample mean and the sample uh, median and the mode uh, and now we are calculating the standard deviation so what does it that mean so each patient uh, the incubation period varies from 2.52 so you you can represent the whole data into this form so mean plus or minus standard deviation so the whole data varies so varies from the mean plus or minus the standard deviation which is 2.52 years so that is the overall the distribution of the data okay which is very important uh, to present the incubation period in terms of mean plus or minus standard deviation so you need to always remember whenever you are presenting the sample mean you also need to present with the sta sample standard deviation which is vital so um, so that people can understand that the distribution the overall distribution of the sample